Hey guys, 23 is number one. Back, <laughs> butterfly. Uh, back with more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. And we haven't really gotten much for Lanky in this level, but um, you'll find that there are some areas that uh, only Lanky has access to due to his uh, walking on his hands ability, which I understand the walking on the hands. It's very Lanky-esque, if you will. But um, I don't understand why that lets him walk up s uh, steep surfaces. Um, if anything, I think that'd make it harder. But I mean, I'm not really one to complain. It's it's a freaking video game, and a good one at that. So I won't complain. About it. However, here's one of those blocks. And I mean, one thing that of course it'll always remind me. I have to open that up in Diddy. That is homosexual. Um. Another reason for this to remind me of, uh, ah, you little bitch, of, uh, Banjo-Kazooie is, God, it, I mean, it's just like the talent from it, his walk on his hands thing. He even makes an annoying sound while he does it, I mean, <laughs> unless you go up steep surfaces and there's bananas down here. I'm glad I noticed that. Putting blue bananas in the water. Crafty rare, very crafty. Ooh, and coins. Make sure there's nothing else in any of the other corners while I'm down here. I know there used to be stuff for Diddy, but we got that a long time ago. Go ahead and check over here and make sure. Nothing, nothing. Grab these other bananas. Oh, there's chunky coins. I'll have to come back with chunky. Yeah, I love, 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 love the music in um, pretty much all Rare games, to be entirely honest. Um, one Rare game that I really don't talk about much that deserves credit. Um, just grabbing these with Chunky that way, I know I won't forget. God, 65 coins, that is so many. But, um, like, it's not that it's a bad game at all, I mean, it's a very good game. Um, is Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. And, um, like I said, very good game. Haven't really talked about it much, but it is the, I guess you would say, least comparable platform game to, uh, the ones here that I've been playing. Um, just in the sense of, uh, the feel of the game is really different because it's, you know, like, mature rated. Um... Which it has a bunch of freaking hilarious stuff in it, though, so that's all good for me. Um, the ending. I won't give anything away about the ending. Um, just because if you haven't played the game, um, it, it is a good ending. So I won't ruin that for you if you haven't played through the game. Um, I would really suggest watching a Let's Play of it. Um... I recently did, and I forget who it was that I watched, but I'll probably look it up and flash on the screen right here. Um, it was really good, and I watched all the way through. Um, don't those pigs look a little loose to you? Why, thank you. Yeah, and, uh, they put stuff above it, and just in case you didn't get it just from there being stuff above it, the, uh, Parrot tells you, hey, look at the pigs, you should probably shoot them. I don't want to get this balloon before I forget about it, because I saw it when we first got in. But yeah, um, Conqueror's Bad for Day. Very good game. Um, once again, rare game, and not just a rare game, but a rare adventure platformer game. So, those are always good. There hasn't been a bad one yet, and there won't be a bad one, considering I'm pretty sure, uh, my comment if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're out of business. Um, like they've shut down, um, which means, you know, no hopes for any good new Banjo-Kazooie games. Um, I've seen Let's Plays of, uh, oh, banana pick. I've seen Let's Plays of uh, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, and this is just my personal pref or like opinion, I guess. 
Uh, I think it's horrible. I think it's trash. Um, but, and I'm saying that, like, to the whole game, too, which I kind of feel bad saying. Like, just with my background, having played the series, I can't look at it as anything else. I mean, it isn't a Banjo-Kazooie game at all. To anyone that likes the game, um, I, I don't really know what to say, having just said that it's trash, and, I mean, it, it's just, it's the bastard child of such a good series, and I, I just really don't know what to say about it, because, I mean, it's, it's just hard to describe my feelings about it, because... I don't know, it's not a Banjo-Kazooie game. I guess a good comparison would be to the uh, Paper Mario game for Wii. Yes, because that, in my opinion, is not a bad game. It's definitely still a good game. It's just not a Paper Mario game. However, with... Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, I feel slightly different, but mainly the same way. Um, I give everyone the full right to enjoy the game. Um, I, I mean, like I said, I feel bad saying that it is a bad game. Even as harshly as I said it, I still feel bad saying that. Um, it... It just strikes me entirely wrong. Um, just so many things about it. They changed all the characters, uh, so they're not even like the same character anymore. Yeah, this is Lanky's little alien here, if you can't tell. Um, Mumbo the freaking mechanic, and all of a sudden, Humba Wumba's a freaking three-year-old. I don't know. I just really, really, really don't like it. Um, and if anybody knows, I mean, I don't even know off the top of my head if that was produced by Rare or not. I kind of hope it was, and I kind of hope it wasn't, because if it was, then what were they thinking? Um, but, I don't know. Once again, that's just my opinion. So, I'll get off my little soapbox for now, that little rant, and just play the game. Um... That was a pretty easy mini game. Just had to swing on ropes, and um, I wasn't sure at first if it was just going to be swinging on the ropes repeatedly, but it was. So, and three uh, uh, gold bananas with everybody already, um, and yeah, all of their uh, blueprints too. So, oh, and finally a banana medal for Lanky. So we're definitely making some headway. Um, mainly just bananas that we're missing, really. Uh, we'll wait to do that until we have Tiny. Um, ooh, and this part's going to be a little annoying, too. We'll go ahead and do that stuff with Tiny first, though. Well. Let's see now. Because I know that there's a banana fairy back here. And my ass is actually starting to get a little sore from sitting in this chair. I haven't really been sitting here, like, ridiculously long. Just for the amount of time I've been recording, so almost an hour and a half now. Oops, I missed. Yeah, yeah, I know I missed. Just let me give me another chance. This one's barely moving. And I missed again. I was pretty sure that one should have been a hit, but oh well. Professor Oak does not approve of my picture taking, apparently. <laughs> Speaking of which, Pokemon Snap. Not sure if I would ever want to let's play it. Um, I haven't actually seen if people have. I assume someone has to have let's played that game. But, um. I mean, it, it was a decently big game in my childhood. I played it a fair amount. Pretty sure I uh, found all the secrets. I'm decent at getting the uh, Pikachu riding Articuno. So, oh man. 30 chunky bananas in here. That is quite a decent amount. I was getting worried about bananas, but not so much anymore. Oh. But yeah. 
Um, tell me what you guys think about the uh, commentary that's really going on right now. Not really doing it on purpose, it's just kind of what's coming out tonight. And um, I feel like it's a bit uh, kind of like the... Uh, kind of like? What? I, I feel like it's a bit because of the stress from finals week, and I'm just kind of using this as a relaxer. Um, earlier today I just sat down and had some nice warm green tea. So that was very nice. Um, very relaxing. And do uh, people... Ha <laughs> there's an arrow in there. I faintly remember that. To people who don't like tea, um, tea is definitely an acquired taste. And I definitely did not like it uh, when I first started drinking it. So if you don't like tea, uh, but are interested in it, um, definitely give it a shot. Just start drinking it and you eventually will start to like it. Uh, I'm convinced that anybody can like tea. And uh, that's my little spiel about that, if you will. So, oh, there's chunky bananas on top of crankies. That is entertaining. Man, this uh, doesn't give you a terrible amount of time, does it? I'm trying to think of what the fastest way up is. And I think it would be this monkey port. If Chunky would get up. Go, Chunky, go. God, this doesn't give you much time at all. I'm gonna fail it. Huh. Well, I'm pretty sure that would be the fastest way. Unless there's a teleport that I'm missing, but... Like, there's one to the top of this hill, but... I think that's from uh, down here somewhere, so that wouldn't help at all. Maybe I was just going too slow. That's probably what it is. And that one is probably uh, meant to be very close anyway, so a little bit of difficulty on this first level, but we'll get through it. Um, oh, but yeah, um, if you don't like tea but are still interested in it, like I said, um, just continue to give it a try. And um, I'm, I won't guarantee you because, I mean, everyone's different. But I, everything short of guarantee you that you will come accustomed to it. And possibly even like it. Eventually. Now, is the faster route going to be the banana port? Or just running out of here? I'm going to check the distance that the running would be. It wouldn't be too far, to be entirely honest. Um... We'll just try running out of here this time. Oh, uh, well. God, this is kind of far through here. God, I'm not even sure. We're going to try just running out this time. And see what happens for us. So I don't think there's any uh, faster way to go, really, with Chunky. Um, we don't, like, unlock any moves or anything. Maybe jumping and doing a spin thing, but... No, that really seems to just go the same speed. Yeah, we're gonna try just running out this time, see what happens. Oh yeah, that gives us so much more time. However, for the other ones, banana porting will be our best bet. Oh yeah, we got this no problem. As long as, yeah, we can get up there. That's fine. That being said though, I mean, it is uh, going to get down to the wire a bit actually. Oh god, especially if I get stuck there. And I have less than 10 seconds. Yeah, um, what else really is there? Hmm. Oh, um, I recently watched both series of, uh, a nice little very short anime series called Hetalia. Uh, Hetalia, actually, I guess. Um, and if I'm pronouncing anything in Japanese, I mean, I have taken Jap 101 and 102. I know how to pronounce stuff, but I'm going to be pronouncing things the English way anyway. Not sure why I just went up here. But yeah, I'm going to be pronouncing it the English way anyway. Not, like, out of spite, but just because most of the time, not 100% of the time, but most of the time, that's just kind of the way that it's, like, commonly pronounced over here. 
So, like, Hitalia. I might say Hitalia every once in a while, but, I mean, that, that one isn't so much. I mean, there's other things that you really would have to pronounce correctly in order for it to sound right, and I'm frankly just not going to give it the time. So, just my preference. And just a side note for anyone who feels like correcting pronunciations. Oh, nice little bring 80 bananas for Lanky.